All right, we are back. Uh, we're going to talk about the propeller governor just a little bit more. Um, specifically, um, we'll talk about this pilot valve. You see now that I've got the speeder spring, the rack, and the pilot valve um, almost fully disassembled. The only thing left would be, um, so I pulled the cotter key that goes there. I just have to split the um, this spring collar from the pilot valve. It just it threads into it, but I'm not going to do that. Um, simply because both of them are in good condition. The bearing um, spins very freely and it's a, it's a good bearing. So there's really no need to to pull this apart any further. And it all looks real nice, cleaned up and, and it's ready to be reinstalled. But in any case, uh, I've got all this disassembled. Um, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about that before we get into the how the pilot valve works with the, the pumping gear shaft. But um, essentially, so we, you know, our, our speeder spring fits on to the pilot valve. Um, this spacer actually goes on that shaft on the inside, but I'm not going to put that in right now. Now, right here, this is our, our rack assembly. So this actually fits into the head right here. So um, we take our, um, I don't know what you would call that, slotted side, and it actually goes on side over here is for our control shaft to kind of go in there and it's gonna it's gonna mate um, with that rack assembly such that when you move the prop lever this rotates and it essentially pushes that rack assembly up and down um, to vary the spring pressure um, that you know it's gonna be fighting against those fly weights um, but this all goes together now this is our high, uh, high RPM adjusting screw. So once this is, you know, you, you thread this in here, um, it's a factory adjustment that's done um, when this thing is fully disassembled. And then there's a small circlip retaining ring uh, that's installed in here, locks it. So once this is all assembled, you know, that adjustment can't be made without completely disassembling uh, the head assembly like I have here. So um, I don't know exactly what adjustment or where it's placed when this thing is built. It's not in the overhaul manual. Um, but I imagine, you know, it, you know, I actually have no guesses as to, to what it, where, where that's set. But I'm just going to kind of thread it in until it's even, replace it, and then uh, that's where it's going to stay. Um, and then obviously, you know, whenever you rig this thing, you can make adjustments here um, on this control shaft here. And you can also adjust the um, the linkage that goes to it um, to adjust, you know, for whatever setting you want for the prop lever. So I don't think that this is going to be a huge deal, but um, it, this, air, this, this engine isn't going flying, so I'm not all, all that concerned about it. Any case... That's kind of the head, um, the rack, and the speeder spring assembly. And now we're gonna we're gonna talk about this pilot valve and the gear shaft a little bit more. All right, so we've got our pilot valve uh, along with this, the uh, spring collar. Um, we've got our main pumping element and hollow gear shaft. It's hollow. We've also got our idler gear and its um, hollow support as well. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about how the pilot valve moves inside this gear shaft to port oil to or from the propeller in just a little bit. Before I do that, though, uh, I want to talk about. Um, so in our last video, we talked about how when the propeller is in the on speed condition, um, these pumps are still running; they're producing oil pressure, um, and that has to be bypassed so there's not a a buildup of pressure inside the, the pump. So essentially what happens is if we mentioned that this is hollow, so these things are turning, they're producing oil pressure. Um, and that oil pressure, um, this channel here, that hole actually lines up with this channel inside of our main body. And see that little channel that's, um, that's milled into here. If you turn this over, that actually happens to line up with where our pressure relief valve is. So um, essentially what sits inside this is our idler gear shaft here. Fits right inside here. 
and our idler gear goes on that. So the oil goes through this hole, through the pressure relief valve, and it's transported through this hollow gear shaft into the base assembly. And there's another hole drilled in there. And that actually lines up with, you can read here, engine pressure. And actually that's a hole that's drilled all the way through um, the base. Um, so it goes through this, that hole drilled through here. A and B, remember we talked about how we can select an engine that rotates counterclockwise or clockwise. Um, and that's, the, you know, that's that one, that is one oil passage. Um, and so that's how you port oil that is, you know, um, not needed at the time. Um, you bypass it around the pumps and back to the inlet side of the pump. Now, um, now we're going to talk about how the pilot valve moves inside our hollow gear shaft. Okay, so I've got the gear shaft installed into the base. Uh, I've got my pilot valve here. Um, I want to point out before we install the pilot valve into the gear shaft that there's, there's two parts of here. Uh, we have right here our top plunger and then down here our bottom plunger. Those are fairly important to how this thing functions. Um, so this is where they are. And this really just installs right into the gear shaft just like that. Uh, it's a fairly close tolerance fit um, so that oil doesn't leak past it. But uh, we don't need this in the base to understand how this works. So um, you'll recall um, that, you know, we, there's three conditions, on speed, under speed, and over speed. And the pilot valve really just moves up and down inside the gear shaft um, through all of those regimes. Now, um, right now with the pilot valve fully depressed, uh, that bottom plunger is actually below this hole. Um, and this would actually be in an underspeed condition. And when we're in an on-speed condition, if you look at that hole, as I move the, the pilot valve up, you can see that bottom plunger is now blocking the hole. So this is not going to allow oil to flow one way or the other. And this is on-speed condition, okay? Now... When we do move into the underspeed condition, you'll recall that our flyweights, they move in, right? So the spring force here is going to overcome those flyweights. It's going to depress these, and it's going to take our pilot valve from an on-speed condition, and it's going to allow it to move downward. So right now, that hole is open. And what happens is we have high-pressure oil inside this, it's going through this hole. It's going to fill up this hollow cavity. And that high-pressure oil is going to come out this hole here. And when this is installed into the base, that high-pressure oil flows into um, this hole on the inside, which is connected to right here. This goes out. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, here to the propeller. Looking on the other side, probably a little bit better. Um, goes out to the propeller, and that's going to allow oil to go into the piston, and it's going to drive the propeller blades to a lower blade angle. And when they go to the lower blade angle, um, you're essentially taking less bite of the air, which is going to cause the engine to speed up, right? Because we're not adding power, not removing power. We're just changing the blade angle at the same throttle setting. And, you know, for the same throttle setting, when the blades go lower, the engine speeds up. Um, and when it speeds up, you know, our flyweights are going to go start moving outward. And when they get to their neutral position, everything is balanced. Our pilot valve moves up. It's going to block that hole. And we're returned to an on-speed condition. Now, when we receive that over-speed condition, you know, for example... If you were to gain altitude for the same power setting, um, typically your propeller starts to speed up, right? Because thinner air. Um, and these flyweights are going to move out. They're going to overcome this spring pressure right here. These things are going to move out. And your pilot valve is going to move upwards. So we're going to go from an on speed to over speed. So now what happens is that plunger, the bottom plunger, is above the hole. So we have high-pressure oil that is in the propeller hub is going to get pushed out. Because remember, um, when we're in overspeed condition, um, those counterweights are going to start pushing your blade angle 
um, to a higher blade angle. Okay, so it, it, remember that the counterweights are there, they're, they're there as a safety function. If you were to lose hydraulic pressure, you want to have a higher blade angle so you can still make power. You don't want to go to a low blade angle um, and have a propeller that's basically just you know going to create drag. So it moves it toward a higher blade angle. And, um, you know, it's going to hit against the, the high pitch stops at some point, whatever that setting is in the propeller. But for this purpose, over speed, the pilot valve moves up. This hole opens. Those counterweights are going to try to pull that propeller blade um, to a higher blade angle. And that's going to force oil out of the propeller through this hole. And because our plunger is above the hole, it's going to actually come out the bottom here. And out the bottom... It's going to come right into this cavity here, and oil is going to flow out that hole or out that hole. And these are the drains. So this drain is going to, it's going to be a flex line that goes back to the inlet side of the uh, pump. And that's just how you recirculate that oil back to the inlet side of the pump. So um, as you're increasing blade angle, uh, the engine is going to start slowing down. And when it slows down, your flyweights move in. Your pilot valve is going to move down until we return. Oh, till we turn to that on-speed condition where that bottom plunger is blocking that hole, like it is now, like that. Um, and that's on speed right there. So um, no oil moves to or from the propeller. Um, so that's you know the basically the how the the pilot valve works inside the gear shaft to port oil where it needs to go. I think I'm going to actually pull the diagram out of the manual um, and narrate this over again at the end of this video, um, just so you can see, you know, um, dia I guess in a diagram how this looks. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's the diagram from the overhaul manual showing uh, the on-speed condition. So what is in yellow is representative of engine oil pressure, which is between 50 and 60 PSI. The red is governor pressure that's stepped up to 200 PSI. Uh, you can see that it goes into the top hole um, of our gear shaft and it fills, fills that hollow space down to the bottom plunger. Um, but because we're in the on-speed condition, um, that passage out to the propeller is, is blocked off. So. Um, no oil to or from the propeller at this time. And you can see at the top, the flyweights are at their neutral position where there's a balance between that centrifugal force on the flyweights and the spring pressure uh, that's been set by the propeller lever. Okay, here we have an under speed condition. So um, essentially, engine's running too slow, spring pressure overcomes the flyweights and it forces the pilot valve down. Uh, and you can see that the governor pressure, which is filling the hollow gear shaft, is now open to go out to the propeller. So once that happens, um, it's going to force the blades to a lower blade angle. That's going to cause an increase in engine RPM. That increase in engine RPM is going to, you know, the in increase in trivial force is going to cause those flyweights to move outboard, balance with that spring pressure, and it's going to close off that pilot valve so no oil flows to or from the propeller and so we're going to be right back at an on-speed condition again. Now here we have the overspeed condition so again flyweights are moving outboard from centrifugal force it's going to overcome spring pressure which forces the pilot valve upwards. Now when that happens the bottom plunger is above that hole at the bottom so essentially we're exposing propeller oil to um, an, no pressure because it's going to the drain. And if we recall that right now what's in the propeller is actually governor pressure at 200 PSI. So as soon as we open that up to you know that drain, it's going to start forcing itself out to a, a, it, the area of lower pressure. But also our counterweights, right? So they're going to be moving our propeller blades to a higher blade angle. Uh, they're going to try to move it up against those high pitch stops. Um, so those two things working together are going to essentially scavenge oil out of the propeller governor or the propeller hub I'm sorry and of course once the engine starts to slow down from that increased blade pitch um, the flyweights are going to move in mm -hmm. pilot valve is going to move down and we're going to be returning to a on-speed condition 
Okay, so I'm going to wrap the video up now. <clears throat> Here's a picture of the engine it's still assembled. Um, so, as promised, uh, I've added the diagrams to kind of help visualize, you know, all three of these these conditions within the prop governor. Um, I'm going to be doing more accessories videos. I'm going to try to get them as in-depth as this one has been. Um, maybe it's a little much for a simple prop governor, but, you know, I enjoy doing it, and I hope somebody learns something about these components. Um, so, till next time.